Hello, my name is Joe Sass, and today I would like to show you how to use a cell phone to put the Mobile Mapper 6 onto the internet. Uh, the Mobile Mapper 6 is a Windows Mobile platform, window, Windows Mobile operating system, and with that operating system comes a number of built in programs that can use the internet. Internet Explorer, Inbox is a mail program. Um, you can load programs from the internet, such as Google Maps, and they will run on here, but you need internet access, and you can use a cell phone to do that. Now, in order to do this, you need to do a couple of things. There are a few steps, and in a previous video, I showed you how to make a pairing, a Bluetooth pairing, between the cell phone and the Mobile Mapper 6, and that is a prerequisite for this video. Uh, you need to have that Bluetooth pairing already established. The next thing you need to do is you need to actually turn the cell phone into a modem that the Mobile Mapper 6 can use, and that's what I'm going to show you now. My cell phone is a Motorola sliver, and I've got my carrier is Singular. Singular in the U.S. is one of the major carriers. Typically, all cell phones, all modern day cell phones that have a data plan from the service provider can be used in this way. You've got to have a Bluetooth um, ability on the cell phone, and you need a dial-up networking um, um, ability on the cell phone itself. That's how we get the Mobile Mapper 6 onto the internet. Each carrier has um, their own parameters. Typically in the GSM world you will need your APN username, your APN password, and your APN domain. If you're on another network, say like Verizon, um, they have their own parameters, their own username, their own password. You need to get these parameters from your service provider. They are not secrets. They're easy to find. You just need to go to your service provider to get these uh, parameters. The other thing you'll need is you'll need the actual dialing string to activate the modem, so to speak, and I'll get to that in just a minute. Okay, so the first thing I do is on the Mobile Mapper 6, I'm going to go to the Start button, and I'm going to go down to Settings. Now I've already done the Bluetooth pairing, so I don't need to go to that. So I'll hit on the in the uh, settings menu at the bottom. There's a connections tab. I'll click on that, and then there's an icon called connections, and I'll click on that. Okay, so it says add new modem connection, and that's what I want to do. So I will hit on that. Now the name, it, the default name is my. Um, connection. I can call it Joe's connection, I could call it singular, I could call it sliver, it really doesn't matter. And I have two choices. I have the Haze compatible on COM1 or I have the Bluetooth and I'll have the Bluetooth ability because I've already done the pairing. So I'm going to choose Bluetooth and hit next. Okay, the sliver is already in my list of devices and that is because I've done this Bluetooth pairing already. So I'll select sliver. Now when I hit sliver it doesn't immediately highlight. I know that I hit the screen right, but right now it's going and it's querying my phone and it's seeing what services are offered. And I just need to be patient through this time. Um, let the hourglass come up and then I can hit next. Okay, now the next screen that comes up, it's asking for a phone number. And this is not like a 10 digit. US phone number with an area code. This is the dialing string that's required to put the sliver uh, into the modem mode. Now most cell phones that I've encountered worldwide, I know there are a lot of exceptions, but the simple command star 99 pound will enable it to go on the internet. So that's what I'm going to do. Shift star 99 shift pound and I'll hit next. Okay, now this next page is asking me for my username, my password, and my domain. As I said earlier, I'm using Singular, so I'm going to put in the Singular parameters here. The username for Singular is WAP at SingularGPRS.com. So let me type that in. WAP at SingularGPRS.com. My password. For singular, the password is singular1, all uppercase. Let me put that in. C-I-N-G-U-L-A-R-1. And then the domain is simply wap.singular. Wap.singular. I don't need to go to the advanced tab, and I can simply hit finish. 
I now, on my Connections tab, instead of just add new modem connection as an option, I also have Manage Existing Connections, and that's the connection I just made with this sliver, and it's called a dial-up networking connection. Okay, I've done all the work. Now I simply need to go to a program that uses the Internet, such as Internet Explorer, which is built into the operating system here, and I can type in any website address I want. There is uh, Internet Explorer. Now the default home page for Internet Explorer is actually a place on the hard drive. So let me just type in google.com. And when I hit enter, it goes out and it tries to find Google. At the bottom it says connecting, locating, opening. The fact that it says opening is proof that I'm on the internet and it may even redirect me. I'm now on the internet. I'm using my cell phone as the modem and I can do a variety of features including um, online GIS dat data capture where, where uh, as soon as an item is captured it shows up on the desk in the office or if something is added at the desk in the office it can show up on my device now because I have this link. So that's how you make your uh, mobile mapper 6 enabled on the internet. Thank you.